TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. I figured I'd do a little scenery change. Honestly, it's just I didn't feel like setting up the set. Um, and this is just easy to do it over here. So, because um, I'm doing three things, and I probably won't record something in A school till Thursday night. It's Tuesday, and I uh, just didn't feel like setting everything up, bringing it back down, setting it back up. So, anyway, I'm being lazy today. It's my day off. Darn it. Anyway, um,. <laughs> Uh, so let's just get started with the first wine that I'm recording for today, which is only wine for Wednesday, and then we'll have a Friday and a Monday. All right, so um, I have the Paso a Paso uh, Verdejo. That's uh, 100% Verdejo from uh, Spain, and um, it is from the La Mancha Dio. 2008, did I say that? No, I didn't say 2008, but it's 2008. The vintage is on the back of the label, not on the front. Uh, this is a wine uh, made by uh, a gentleman named by Jorge Ordonez. Uh, he is a rather well-known winemaker from Spain, and um, his name is on this, and we shall see what it's like. Verdejo is a uh, white wine, as you can see, a varietal from Spain. Um, and let's see how it smells and tastes. This is wine tasting earlier today. Some good stuff for a future episode. So I'm getting the, I don't want to say the typical chocolate. I'm getting tropical fruit flavors. On the back it says uh, delicious apple and kiwi. Let's see, blah, blah, blah. hold on. Calling your hand, delicious aromas of fresh picked peaches, bright citrus accents, and delicious apple and kiwi flavors. Uh, I don't necessarily take, uh, smell all of that. I'll go with the peach and the kiwi. Not necessarily any apples, but. Not unpleasant, um, pretty good. Oh, $9.99 World Market, forgot to mention that, but you've already seen it on the lower third, so. bad. It's got um, an unusual taste to it. Not a bad taste, just something different. I'm gonna say the kiwi flavors are more enhanced. It's got a little bit of tartness to it. I think it's what it was, it was kind of threw me off. I didn't expect to get that tartness to it. Um, I can feel, even though I'm not, I'm not really swallowing any of this, I mean, there is saliva and swan saliva and the wine's part of that. I do kind of feel a little bit of heat uh, in the back. Um, I mean, granted, this is room temperature, so you're, you're going to find the heat a little more um, at room temperature with the white wines. Um, it's not bad. If it was chilled, again, it would probably taste a little bit better, but we don't want it ice cold because then you've muted all the flavors and the aromas. Um, it's pretty good. I think it's pretty basic though. I, I think it's really one-dimensional. I don't think there's anything um, complex about it. And not that it needs to be. Um, 
It doesn't need to be, you know, some spectacular wine at ten dollars. But um, I've had some wines that are about the same mouthfeel and about the same flavor taste um, for a, a couple of bucks less. So I'd say it's probably, you know, it's a solid wine. It does its job. It'll probably pair well with some food. Uh, we're, we're approaching summertime, especially here in Texas. It's already in the 80s today. So um, chill a little bit and put it with some cheese and crackers, something light. Probably pair with some seafood. No, we all know I'm not a fan of seafood, but I can see this pairing well, pairing with some, some uh, seafood, maybe some crab, some something like that. Eighty six. Yeah, eighty six. I'll go with that. Might be a little bit better than that, but we'll go with eighty six. My first impression. That's what you should go with at first. Um, let's see, so, not a bad wine, um, I was going to talk about something, now I forgot what it was, I should have put little notes in here, but I didn't, oh, 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 um, I did a visit to Water to Wine today, that's what I want to mention, um, and I met with the owner, John McFadden, I uh, had a really good talk, uh, we don't have any video of it yet, because I just want to have like an initial meeting with him, and, um, so I do plan to go back there and do a little more in depth, bring the camera, we can talk about how that you know what they do, um, which is basically that you can uh, make your own wine there, um, and you can also buy wine. I mean, they have lots of wines. As a matter of fact, I, I believe uh, today he said there was 95 bottles of wine that you could taste. They open the you know the bottles are open and ready to go for you to taste, which is amazing because most other places um, you're, you're lucky to be able to have a few bottles, you know, you know, a few wines by the glass as far as any wine bars and all that. But um, they had some good stuff there. I was impressed with some of the, with, uh, with some of the wines. I, I got a little, little taste of a few things and um, plan to go back there and do some more stuff with them. Um, let's see, what else? Um, TiVo, again, I'm on there. Uh, I just set up a Mevio account and hopefully it's gonna pull the feed the way it's supposed to so I don't have to worry about uploading every show. Um, I'm just trying to increase the... Um, just trying to increase the distribution of the show. The more places it's at, the more eyeballs that see it. Make sure you tell your friends about it. Uh, iTunes subscriptions are increasing. The views are increasing. So we're starting to get a little more traction. You guys must be telling people about it or people are just stumbling upon it. So if you want to subscribe to the iTunes feed over here, there's the iTunes button. You click on that. If you're not friending me up yet on Twitter or Facebook, friend me up there. Uh, I mean, all my social networking links are there, but it's really Twitter and Facebook I'm on the most of everywhere else. Um, Let's see what else I got uh, contributing to the show. Remember, I don't make any money at this. Uh, well, this is not my, my income. I do have a quote day job in the food and beverage industry. Um, so any contributions that you can do to help me offset the cost of the wine and the hosting of the show and the you know the purchase of the URLs because actually there are what four URLs, five URLs associated with this show, including including videowinereviews.com. Could not believe that was still available like a couple months ago that nobody had picked that up. Um, so uh, just, you know, contribute PayPal. Uh, there's the one-time contribution. There's the $5 a month uh, subscription, which only lasts for 12 months, and then you'd have to renew it yourself if you wanted to. Uh, and then, of course, there's swag to buy. I don't know why this is not swag, but there's swag to buy and books and all that other stuff. So, and I, hopefully you've seen some, some newer ads on here. Uh, Palette Press has really been uh, doing some good job, doing a good job with getting some uh, cool ads, and I'm really impressed. I have a local ad for HEB. That's awesome. Um, anyway, we'll see everybody again on Friday, and uh, that's it.